Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Sydney Powell, she flipped, she did it, and she's the second one, not the first one, the second one, but pretty important. So that's what the video will be about, and I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video, and if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And uh, thank you very much for watching. So of course, we have to see what's in the future for Sydney Powell. Very interesting. So she's flipped. I mean, I, I, I don't know why it didn't occur to me that that's something that could happen. But um, anyway, it, it has happened. So she flipped. She got some good terms. She's got to be a good girl for six years. Uh, she can write a book, you know, make a ton of money. Um, she gets to testify against these people, and I bet she is a woman who can be very vindictive if she wants to be. So, Sydney Powell, we want to see, um, we'll just ask uh, questions at random for her, but before we do any of that, we'll have just a moment, you know, of meditation. So, Sydney Powell, first one out of the gate. And um, I have to say, she uh, is smarter uh, than I gave her uh, credit for. So she uh, just pleaded to uh, misdemeanors. And uh, once all this is done, that'll be off of her record. She can honestly say uh, that she's never been convicted, I believe, because of the first uh, offender aspect of this thing if I'm not mistaken but uh, yeah so she she got a good deal for herself so Sydney Powell what do we want to ask what do we want to ask okay is uh is she going to give testimony against Trump okay let's just see that right out of the, right out of the, the bat three cards one two three I mean surely she is but might as well get the cards warmed up and see what they have to say will she testify against Trump Okay, this is the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful cards, by the way. And I love how uh, shiny and glitter they are. Uh, I talk more about the cards, by the way, at the end of the video. Uh, so, uh, so this is the Wheel, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, this is a crapshoot. But um, usually the wheel is turning in a positive direction. And we don't see anything here that indicates uh, that that's not the case. There's no uh, warnings uh, here, really, uh, on that wheel. So uh, will she testify against Trump? It's probably. Uh, next one up here is the King of Pentacles. This is Trump himself. He's right in the middle of this draw. So the King of Pentacles, and he's not looking particularly happy, and he's really clutching onto his value. Will she testify against Trump? The Six of Swords is um, moving out of troubled water. Yeah, and this is a woman. She's doing whatever she has to do regarding truth, justice, rules, and law to keep herself out of trouble. So yes, she will testify against Trump. Um, so let's see. Will she develop a vindictive streak? That's what I want to know. Will she develop, noticeable to us, okay, a vindictive streak? streak. Sydney Powell, will she develop a vindictive streak? You can't tell me that she's not going to eventually write a book. I think that will be a while so that she has a chance to rest from this public um, grilling. But, uh, but I want to know, will she develop a vindictive streak? Three cards. One, two, three. Will she develop a vindictive streak? that we'll be able to detect. Okay, this is the Knight of Wands. So what we know about the Knight is that this is someone who's going to fight 
for their remit. This re the remit of this knight is our actions, plans, forward movement. She's going to fight for that forward movement, whatever that might, may mean. It may mean getting on with their life, uh, getting through with the testimony she has to do. Uh, but she starts out as a knight. Second card is um, ah the six of wands, and the six of wands is um, getting past an obstacle. And then the final card here is the four of pentacles, which is holding on to your value. Will she develop a you know an attitude? Uh, towards Trump. It looks like she's going to march through this thing and just try to keep herself out of controversy and out of trouble. That's what I see here. And then, uh, is she going to write a book? Is she going to write a book? And then I have one more question after that about, about that. But is she going to write a book? Is she going to write a book? She's 68 years old. She doesn't have a way to earn a living anymore, I don't guess, unless she's got uh, money put away. But um, is she going to write a book? And then one more question after this. Three cards of Cindy Powell going to write a book. I think it might be a while she does. But the first card up is the Ten of Cups. Uh, Ten of Cups is just really uh, overrun with uh, emotional... A value. Oh yeah, I think so. Ten of Cups is the Four of Swords, really knowing when to make a move. Relax, because if you move too soon, you might get hurt. Um, is she going to write a book? And uh, this is the Lover's Cards. Uh, deals, okay? Making making um, deals. So yeah, um, it's going to get a lot of emotionally off of her chest. Uh, she's going to wait until just the right moment. In other words, let all this uh, rest for a bit. And um, and she will get a good deal to publish that. So, and uh, the last one I want to do then, let's say, is um, she going to get rich off this book? Is she going to get rich off this book? Three cards. One, two, three. This would probably be when she's 70 or 71 or 72. I would guess to give this whole thing a bit of time to rest. Uh, this is the Nine of Cups. This is the greedy merchant uh, willing to display their emotional wares. And uh, this is a woman, in fact, and uh, an old woman. And uh, so, yeah, this is someone who's willing to put their emotions out there for display. And it's uh, interesting to me that it's an old woman. So I'm going to say this is going to be Sydney after 70. The Hierophant, the government features uh, prominently in this, which it can be the government. I just think of it the government is right away, but um, it can be the structure by which a thing is run, but I think it's the government. And then uh, this is the Six of Pentacles, and this is doling out the wealth. So um, there will be um, expenses that she has to pay, uh, but uh, yeah, the wealth will be doled out on this book and she'll get her fair share. Yep, I think she'll do very well. Uh, with this book, you know, millions. So that's Sidney Powell. I mean, that's exactly what uh, Michael Cohen did, isn't it? He wrote a book, made a lot of money, a couple books, I think, so far. And um, so that's where he's at. And all of these people don't want Trump to come back and sue them for the money they've earned after the fact. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So these cards are terrific. This is the Klimt tarot. And some of you may uh, recognize this kind of gold uh, foil, gold embossed uh, artwork that is um, that Gustav Klimt is famous for. These are by Los Scarabio, and uh, these cards are really amazing. They give you a perfect uh, example of some of his works that uh, really uh, made him uh, so famous. Um, the cards uh, are amazing. I'll show you in a second. The instruction booklet isn't really much. Um, it's just a, a, some good information about Klimt, really, several pages on him. And then uh, some typical descriptions for the cards and uh, with the verse meanings written in italics. And it's in several different languages. So that's useful to lots of folks, I suppose. The containers, nothing to speak of, except that it does have beautiful examples of his art all the way around. And the cards are typical cards. I mean, they're easy to use. They're a shape that you're, you're familiar with, and they're a card stock that works pretty well. But uh, the 
real uh, star of the show here uh, uh, are the cards themselves. And they do come with little um, uh, suggestions up here as to what the cards are in, in four different languages. So like, these are wands. Uh, so you start to see them now, and you can see the gold foil in there and how beautifully uh, everything is depicted. And they're just a real joy to use. And they just uh, uh, reinforce uh, Klimt's uh, uh, use of nude figures, people in everyday uh, poses and everyday uh, shapes, so uh, which wasn't very typical at the time. You wouldn't often find uh, cards, or, or not cards, I'm sorry, but paintings that were so um, abrupt in showing how people actually look and women in uh, various uh, <laughs> positions of self-pleasure or with other women. So the cards are interesting, and they're and uh, if you go to Austria, you will just be inundated by uh, examples of Klimt's art there. So I love using these cards. We'll see how they work. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So ciao for now.